Mike Murphy here with Murphy Entertainment Studio, and uh, I've got a bonus video for our Moviethon viewers today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the top five best TV shows uh, ever, in our opinion, and uh, I'm going to bring it over here to Adam and let him start with his top five, and uh, we'll get this thing going. All right, uh, let me start by saying I've already done my top five cartoon series, or else I would have Transformers on this list, but I decided since I've already done one to keep everything live action. So with that, I, I will say uh, my number five and the only sitcom on my list is Seinfeld. And uh, this is a show that 21 years after, after it went off the air is still in syndication everywhere. It has uh, memorable characters and... Uh, the longevity of it is amazing, considering it was openly a show about nothing. And uh, what do you think, Mike? I like Seinfeld. I mean, uh, how many seasons did they do? Was they, it like eight? They did Ten? eight, eight okay. I believe. And uh, unlike many shows, they actually went out on top. Mm -hmm. they, they went out when they could have done probably twice as many episodes as, or seasons as they did but oh yeah i really enjoyed seinfeld i mean it's one of those shows that every episode was random uh you know from kramer you know uh, uh to yeah uh, it's it just to it, george being doing loser stuff yeah <laughs> i think george yeah costanza was probably my favorite yeah. character but uh, yeah, Seinfeld, I mean, top-rated show for years. Uh, I definitely agree. All right, let's move on to my number four is uh, a show that came on HBO, The Sopranos. And uh, this is a show about uh, a mob family, uh, the mob boss played by James Gandolfini, God rest his soul. Um and him trying to kind of the show was about him trying to balance his mob life with with his family life on, on the one hand he's a he's a criminal lord and uh, has mistresses and all this and uh, on the other hand he's a man who clearly loves his wife and lo loves definitely loves his kids with all his heart and he has to balance all that uh, together. And the Sopranos is a show that I actually, it's not on my list. Uh, I've heard a lot of great things about it. I'm not super familiar with the Sopranos like most people. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I've heard it's great. I mean, I might have to watch it now. I, I think I made him watch one episode when we were on vacation one time. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But anyway, that is number four, Sopranos. My number three show is Lost. And uh, this is a show that takes so many twists and turns and so many memorable characters and... It's a show about a bunch of people who are unhappy and uh, they are brought to, or crash land on this uh, island with, with, uh, with a smoke monster and a polar bear. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I mean, you're like, uh, you, you talk about it, and you're like, what, what in the world is this? Yeah. Then, <laughs> Basically, everything that life can throw at a person happens to these this group of people on the island. I mean, uh, Lost is one of my favorite shows. That's one of them that overlaps with me and Adam. Yeah. Uh, it, it's an amazing show. I mean, uh, every episode... Uh, we'll have you on the edge of your seat. It's funny. It's entertaining. Uh, the character development is deep. Uh, in fact, uh, some of the best character development in any TV show I've seen. Uh, oh, yeah. Her Hurley's awesome. Hurley's the man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. I, I love all the characters. I mean, you know, oh, yeah, Sawyer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's my favorite, though. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hurley. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Locke. Uh, yeah. I like Locke oh, a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, if you haven't seen Lost, that that's a show that is just amazing. Uh, it will not disappoint. Yeah, you'll... You'll just want to keep watching to see what happens yeah. next. It's addictive. Yeah, the number one binge-watching TV show ever. I watched it in three weeks. Uh, so, uh, that was what, like eight episodes a day, yeah. oh, I yeah. think. Oh, so, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I'm crazy, I know. <laughs> yep. All right, well, <laughs> we'll leave that alone. Uh the number, my number two, and the, this might surprise me, some people, that it's not number one, but my number two was Game of Thrones. And here's why. The, the very best of Game of Thrones is the best show I've ever seen, but the, there, are, there are a few dud episodes in there, I, I gotta admit, and I'm not just talking about some of the last season. The, there are some duds mixed in, but as far as uh, just, you know, stor storytelling, scenes, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, dragons, beautiful women, handsome men, you, you got everything in this show. <laughs> Game of Thrones, yeah, I mean, that that's one that overlaps with us as well. Uh, I, I think the production value alone on, I don't know how much money was spent, you know, on Game of Thrones, but I mean, I, I think somewhere around 10 or 20 million an episode uh, right, something like that later. So probably. Yeah. I, I mean, mean the, the sets are amazing too. It's yeah. just... Yeah, that's that's what I mean. I mean, the production value, the uh, the costumes, the uh, the action in the set pieces is just... It, it's crazy. I mean, it's great. Uh, I, I think that I like the... It's kind of got an old-fashioned medieval time period uh, feel to it which I really liked. What do you think? Oh yeah, it's definitely uh, Middle Ages style. The no taking guns out and <laughs> guns blazing. It's all swords. Yeah, yeah. Magic, swords. So, yeah. Dragons. Uh, dragons. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's a great show. Definitely. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright, and my number one of all time, and uh, it, it like I said, it's going to surprise some people that Game of Thrones isn't here, but it's Breaking Bad. And like I said, uh, uh, in Game of Thrones, there were a few duds. There are no duds in Breaking Bad. Every, every show is action-packed. Uh, Walter White and Jesse Pinkman uh, uh, just have a... Uh, or Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul, if you want to use their actor names, just have a rapport that's oh, yeah. incredible. Yeah. And, uh, you yeah, know, their right, chemistry right. was oh, amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston, I mean, their chemistry was great. Uh, I like Mike a lot, too. Oh, I thought yeah. Mike was yeah, a great character. Mike and uh, and Saul Goodman, uh, I mean, all the characters oh, were yeah. awesome. But, oh, yeah. And, uh, Gus? Yeah. I think yeah. Gus was probably one of my favorite. I mean, he was uh, highly intelligent. I mean... Evil. Evil, yeah. yeah. He was evil, but I mean, I don't know. So, I, so was Walter White. Yeah, I, so I just like the character. Yeah, Gus was a great character. Oh, they're, yeah, yeah. They're all good. Funny. I yeah, mean, yeah that, that, the show was amazing. Well, it's, yeah. uh, that's all there is to it. Yeah, man. my favorite episode was the one where uh, Walter throws a pizza <laughs> up on the roof of the house. I, I just, I yeah. laugh every time I see that one. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like Adam said, there's not a whole lot to add to Breaking Bad. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, what are you waiting for? Uh, start uh, season one tonight. And now, although it didn't make my list, the the, the prequel Better Call Saul is a great show too. So. Oh yeah, yep. yep, I like that one. Honorable mention. Yes. 
All right, and uh, that is it for my list. And now Mr. Mike Murphy will be giving his top five shows. All right, uh, number five for me uh, was Lost, and uh, we've already hit on that one. Yes. Uh, number four, uh, Game of Thrones. You know, obviously amazing. Two thumbs up. Uh, number three for me was Breaking Bad. Uh, I think the consistency of the episodes is what carried that series so well. The character development, uh, not a whole lot left to add on that one. Uh, number two, and, and this is one that uh, people may be like, hey, you know, why did he have that as the second best TV show ever? But you'll probably know why. But uh, The Incredible Hulk. Uh, Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno. Uh, the show aired between 1978 and 1982. Uh, had roughly, I think it was right at five seasons. Yeah, I believe so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think the character development on that was great. Uh, Bill Bixby's character, you know, what I loved about him is he was kind of a drifter. Uh, and all of life's situations and scenarios happened to this drifter. Uh, he minded his own business and was pushed uh, by pretty much everybody uh, for no reason, really. And, uh, you know, uh, he had a hidden ability from a lab accident where he could transform into, you know, Lou Ferrigno's character, the Hulk. And uh, the Hulk took care of, you know, Bill Bixby's character uh, in times of turmoil. And I really think that it's a great uh, show. It's got good family values. It is family friendly. What do you think, Adam? Um, that, that was a perfect description. Uh, all I have